Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, going through our halfway point of the year. Give them my favorite album so far throughout the year. I want to say a majority of this list is definitely hip-hop. I have, I think, like, maybe two alternative on here. And maybe, like, an R&B one. N but it's mostly hip-hop, just to let you guys know. Started off, we had Lil Yachty's Let's Start Here. Uh, his alternative album, which came out, I believe, in February, maybe March. This album, to me, right now, I think is album of the year, personally. I've gone back to this album plenty of times. Um, I think the sounds that Lil Yachty uses, uh, he does, like, a complete turn on his whole career because if you were to start from the start of his career and to that album it's two completely different sounds and uh i think he did really well with it i liked a lot of the songs on there like the black seminole i've officially lost vision there's a lot of good songs on there after that we had a logic with college park i'm a big fan of this album um i think that this album was solid i think that a lot of people may be thinking that it's i don't know corny people call logic corny me personally I don't think he's that corny. I mean, I, I don't I don't understand. I could see why people would think that. But me, I just I like I like the bars on here. I like a lot of the beats on here as well. But yeah, I really liked it. I thought that the skits on here were actually pretty funny as well. And yeah, as an album, it feels like he's going back to his old roots and really sticking to his like not really he's not really hungry for it, but he's just like he he loves to put out music, you know? It, it really seems like he really wants to put out music. Not that he has to anymore. Then came JPEG Mafia and Danny Brown's Scaring the Hoes. Now this album is an alternative rap album. For you guys who don't know, I didn't know anything about JPEG Mafia until like last year, I want to say. And I didn't start, I didn't actually listen to a single, I only knew of him. I didn't listen to a whole album or anything. So for 2023, I wanted to like expand my music taste and just go out of my comfort zone and just listen to whatever and see if I really like it or not. There's gonna be some mixed feelings on it. You're either gonna love it or hate it, I think, personally. And a lot of people have this as their album of the year. Um, I'm not mad at it. It's just, for me personally, I'm not really going back to it all that much. And maybe it's just because I'm not really used to alternative rap yet. Favorite songs I have I have off of there are Lean Beef Patty, uh, Garbage Pail Kids, and uh, Kingdom uh, Hearts Key with uh, Red Veil. Uh, that was fire. Then came Black's new album, Since I Have a Lover, which is an R&B album. I didn't really hear anything about this album, like if people liked it or people didn't like it. Personally, I thought it was good. I like Black's voice. I think he does great features for like hip hop artists like Denzel Curry. There's some others that I can't really name right now, but I think he does a great job of featuring on songs with his voice. And this is my first Black album. I didn't listen to I'm pretty sure he has a really good uh, previous album, East Atlanta Love Letter. I've heard that's pretty good, but I've never listened to it. This one, I kind of liked. I liked uh, Since I Have a Lover. I think it was definitely... I, okay, let's just say this. I prefer this one, I think, over Daniel Caesar's album. But I do think Daniel Caesar has higher highs than Black on his album. I just don't think that... As a whole album, I'm going to go listen to Daniel Caesar's over Black's, if that makes sense. You know, I just I just think that Black had a more consistent album, and Daniel Caesar I think had really high highs and really good songs on there. But as a whole album, I don't think there was a lot of songs that I could really grab from it. Then came Larry June and The Alchemist: The Great Escape, probably one of my favorite albums of the year so far. This is probably not number two, if not like number. It's up there. It's top three for sure for me. Larry June and The Alchemist: The Great Escape fire he kind of has that like boldy james type of feel if you guys know who i'm talking about uh, the alchemist obviously a great producer the beats on here were fire the features on here were great big sean action bronson um boldy was even on this album uh wiz khalifa which was really fire to me i mean there's just a lot of good songs on here some of my favorites i think were the big sean one which was uh i can't see it but uh orange village was really good um art talk and yeah man there's a lot of good songs on here i definitely recommend this album if you're into that more lyrical type of feel for an album after that we had david i think is how you pronounce it d4 vd i think it's david uh with his alternative album petals to thorns more of like a sad boy type of uh album really good his voice is really solid i am excited to see what he brings in his new music uh i haven't heard really much of him except for the well no songs that were on pop uh, that were on tiktok yeah I'm, I'm excited to see what he can really bring to the table um as an alternative artist now another album that i think is one of my favorites throughout the year 
is Kochi's No One's Nice To Me. I liked every single song off of this album. And this to me almost was album of the year. I think I prefer Lil Yachty's just a tad more, but I will say that I think this album, I've gone to back more than all of them that I have on this list. Uh, I go to this list, I go to this album about, I don't know guys, I, I would say probably about like maybe 10 times out of the month and it's really solid it's it's so good it's ah man the the rage aesthetic that he gets on here his beats are phenomenal kaneki you cut yakuza ties there's a lot of good songs hydroplane there's a lot like all of them i like all of them they're all really solid personally coach is becoming one of my favorite artists right now and i think that he currently has a uh, pretty good discography for the most part um the one previous to it i forget what it's called the, in the inspection I think that was his previous album. Really solid as well. I really liked a lot of the songs off of that. And yeah, there's not really much I have to say else, but I would listen to this one for sure. I really like it. Now, after this, we had Mike Dimes, Texas Boy. I remember my first listen was really, really solid, and I really liked a lot of the songs on here. I haven't really gone back and listened to a lot of the songs. I think I've gone like, I think I've done two listens of the album, but I haven't. I need to go back and do more because this album was absolutely fire. There's a lot of features on here that do really great. Uh, I believe Denzel Curry's on this album. This album, Texas Boy, really solid. I recommend go listen to it. There's some songs on here that I think you could play on the aux that are really, really solid for like a car ride with the boys or like just uh, vibing out, you know? It, 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 it's solid. I think it's solid. You for sure need to listen to this one. Another one on my list is Young Thug, Business is Business. I really liked Young Thug's uh, performances on here. The features were really great. Um, I wasn't a big fan of like a lot of the features at first, but they grew on me. I'm not gonna lie, they grew on me uh like parade in cleveland like i wasn't the biggest fan of it um i wasn't really sure how it was gonna go but then it grew on me abracadabra oh you went the other drake feature got kenny and by far the best out or by far the best song i think on here was jones burrow solid young thug track uh shaping up to be one of my favorite actually from young thug i think it's really solid now 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 i know this one might be a little bit controversial but yes, I am a fan of the pink tape. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fan of the pink tape. I like Lil Uzi Vert's The Pink Tape. I thought it was solid. Uh, only like, I want to say like maybe three, maybe four songs that I didn't really mess with on this album all that much. Maybe five. I can't really remember all that. But I've listened to this album probably about five times. And I go back to it and I, I can't like... I can't put my finger on it, but I just think Uzi, he delivered. I think he delivered. I liked a lot of the songs on here. I liked the different aesthetic that he went with. I liked this like hard, like rock and like this punk type of vibe. I know he kind of already had that, but this one, it seemed like it was more, definitely more experimental. I know a lot of people weren't really big fans of the covers that he did. I'm not really a, the biggest fan of CS like that, um, but the other covers, they're fine, I guess. I'm not, I'm not really complaining all, over them. Um, I'm not really saving them or going back to them all that much. But I think the other songs that are on here, like Fire Alarm, Werewolf, um, those songs that are like different, I think that those songs are really good. I think that they really um, do something different that Uzi has never done before. And I think that they're solid and that I, you might not play like out there, like with the boys or with, with, with whoever you're, you're, you're hanging with. But I think that's a song that you definitely should go back to and, you know, just have a fun time listening to it. And you still got the basic Uzi on there, like, you know, same Uzi, like Pluto to Mars, um, what else, Zoom, another great album from a legendary artist, Nas, with Magic 2, Magic 2, solid, I wasn't the biggest fan of 50 Cent's feature like that, I think that he did alright, but to me, it sounded like a, it sounded like he was like Rick Ross, I don't know what was up with his voice, I don't know if it's just me, but his, his voice sounded a lot different from what I'm used to with 50 Cent, I don't know if that's just because of his age and him getting older, or what it is but this album is fire i think one of my favorite songs on here is abracadabra in motion uh the brian cranston breaking bad dunk pandas you know that that line's fire uh it had one mic one gun with 21 savage cool song i liked it it was cool um i'm definitely gonna have to do a dive into Nas's uh discography again it uh because i haven't listened to a lot of his albums i'm not gonna lie like the classics obviously but not the newer stuff i need to go back to that and listen to it next we had was travis scott's utopia Yes, yes, yes. I know, I'm not the biggest fan of Travis Scott. I wasn't really sold on Utopia all that much. I thought it was going to be good, right? It's Travis Scott. I think he's going to put out solid regardless. But I didn't think there was going to be a lot of songs on here that I was really going to like. And I think he really produced. I think that Hyena is really great to start off the album. Thank God. There's a lot of good songs on here. My Eyes, Sirens. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, I wasn't the biggest fan of Meltdown with Drake, but it grew on me, it grew on me. I'm still not the biggest fan of it, but I think it's, I'll listen to it enough to where it's like, okay, I can listen to it and it won't be annoying. There's some songs on there that I would be like, nah, it's just kind of annoying, like Circus Max, Maxis, I think it is, Circus Max, Maximus, something like that, with The Weeknd and Sway Lee, no, it's not for me. It's basically a ripoff of, uh, black skinhead from Kanye. No, I'm not a big fan of it. I didn't really like it at all. That and K-pop. K-pop was probably, I think, maybe the worst song off the album, and that's the one they went with to lead it off. It is what it is. There's some songs on here that I didn't really like. There's some songs on here that I really liked. Um, Fiend being one of my favorites off the album. Playboy Cardi. A lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. There's a lot of different mixed feelings on how this voice of Cardi is. All I'm saying is, I think if he drops an album and it does this voice, I think people are gonna go back to Fiend and be like, yo, that verse is fire. That's what I think, personally. That's what I think, personally. But I still think that Fiend is a phenomenal song. Probably my favorite off of here. That's Topia Twins. Twin, twin, chillin' on the jet ski. Yeah, that, that, that's fire. And Telekinesis, SZA does a great job. I'm not a big fan of SZA. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of like knowing all her music and stuff like that. I know she dropped an album last year, I think that a lot of people liked, um, haven't listened to it, um, but I, I hear a lot of people like SZA, I think Future did a great job on it, uh, Telekinesis, it's a great song, man, great song, so yeah, guys, that about wraps it up, definitely give these albums a listen, um, and let me know what your guys' thoughts of it on the albums, uh, were in the comments below, also, I'm gonna be leaving a playlist to all of the songs that I liked throughout the entire year, um, in the comments below, so, uh, if you guys have Apple Music or Spotify, uh, definitely click the links below, uh, I'll give you guys a link to the playlist on like all the songs that I liked from like all of the different artists. It, it's it's a long list. There's like 700 songs on there right now. There's a bunch. Um, but yeah, it's been your boy. I'm out of here. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.